Hey guys, welcome to JR Sports Cars Chronicles. Today I'm going to be doing a small mail bin, a holiday edition, a few cards that I purchased over the last couple months, and a little bit of a surprise at the end. So stay tuned, and here we go. So first off, we have a um, 2015 Panini Flawless. These are the um, Flawless Greats Dual Patch Autos. This is the Emerald, numbered out of five, and it's Troy Aikman, Hall of Famer. Um, love these um, 2015 Football Flawless Great Dual Patches. There's some really, really nice uh, cards here of uh, all-time greats. So, um, And the good thing is that all these patches are all uh, game-used, game-worn. So... Um, Pretty good, you know, what you, what you can get out of these uh, these cards um, of the uh, Hall of Famers. So this is the uh, Troy Aikman, serial number out of five. All right, next up, we have a uh, kind of a, a traditional card. Uh, this is one of the cards that, you know, in the... In the 80s, uh, everyone saw it after. It's the uh, 1984 Donruss, Don Mattingly rookie card. And this is a uh, true gem. So 9.5 in all the subgrades. Beautiful, beautiful copy of, uh, of Don Mattingly's rookie card. So definitely happy to pick this up. Always wanted this in at least a uh, min gem. So... There's that. And next up, we have a 1997 Metal Universe. Michael Jordan Planet Metal. Love the uh, look of this card. As you can see, um, kind of see different effects here as you tilt the card. Different angles. A beautiful, beautiful card. Um, these are pretty low pop. Uh, tens are really low pop. Not sure. Don't remember what the pop is, but it might be under 100 uh, on in a PSA 9. So these inserts are uh, pretty unbelievable. Uh, the designs of, of of these inserts of the mid 90s to late 90s are, you know, every collector, every Michael Jordan collector strives to uh, collect these. So definitely a great pickup. All right, next up, future Hall of Famer. This is the 2003 SP Authentic. Dwayne Wade, auto, in a PSA 10. Uh, the, Dwayne Wade's cards have come down dramatically um, to the point where it's like unbelievably uh, cheap, you know, uh, for one of the best point cards of all time. So I, be I believe that this is, makes a great pickup. So uh, happy to pick this up at a re really, really reasonable price. And final card here is a 2013 Panini Prism LeBron James Orange Prism PSA 10. And these are number 260. And I believe this is a pop six in a PSA 10. Really hard to get in a PSA 10. So definitely uh, glad to pick this up. All right. And the final card is a vintage card. And I was really happy to pick this up. Um, it's in a low grade, but uh, you'll see that the um, registration of this card is unbelievable. Um, it, it, it's it's just amazing that this ultimate of a card has has uh, such a registration um, and even centering too. And I'll give you a guess. It's uh, 
it's from uh it's a 52 card i'll leave it at that so um but not what you think it is nevertheless great great pickup no see why it got a uh, low grade And here we go. It's a 1952 Bowman Mickey Mantle. Let's go ahead and uh, open this baby book, baby up here. I can open it up. So here it is, 52 Bowman, Mickey Mantle, not his rookie because he has a, uh, in Bowman, uh, he has a, the 1951 uh, is his rookie card. Um, and of course in Tops, the 52 is the uh, is his rookie card. Nevertheless, uh, centering on this is unbelievable. Registration is just, I mean, it's it's unbelievable. The front of this card is just it's amazing. Um, no creases at all. Corners pretty much impeccable. Um, edges. I mean, the front of this card is just it's it's unbelievable. Um, that's all I can say about this. So now the reason why it got a uh, poor SGC grade one is due to the fact that in the back we have some paper loss. Now there is a bit of paper loss up here, as you can see. And then obviously the majority of the paper loss is down here. Um, I don't know if this was taped somewhere to an album or something. Um, now what the reason why I didn't mind so much the paper loss is because the majority of the paper loss was down here. Uh, this is basically a, uh, you know, Bowman uh, a promotional uh, description down here that every Bowman card has of this year. So I don't really care too much about this bottom part being, having the paper loss. Um, the more important part, obviously, is the blurb on Mickey Mantle, right? Um, and that's pretty much, you know, in good condition and you, it's, it's legible, you can read it. So wasn't too much bothered uh, with the fact that only the bottom was, you know, this, this portion here was had the paper loss. And uh, more importantly, this part did not. Um, nevertheless, though, I mean, I, you know, I was just blown away by the quality of, uh, of the front of this car it's just you know looks like it came right out out of out of a pack i mean it's just if it wasn't for this paper loss um who knows what this would have graded you know this could have been a seven um as far as i'm concerned but um yeah it's just the front of this card is just unbelievable and i'm really really happy to pick this up um so there you have it. Um, that was the big, the big reveal here. So hope you guys enjoyed this mail bin and uh, comment uh, below if you enjoyed the cards and uh, let me know your thoughts. All right, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and peace out.